what is an interlock connector and what do you use it for and why is it there? Many of you probably wondered what these tiny little pieces in their laser shipments are and what they're used for. These are the so-called interlock connectors and uh, the small bits that come with your laser are usually meant for bridging the interlock actually. Um, so if you just bridge it, why is it there and uh, what is it for? Basically, the interlock connector, if you get the laser, it goes into the appropriate connector at the back side of your unit. Some units have the RJ45 connector, like the TARM2 for example, or the higher powered systems. It's like a network connector basically, it looks like that. It's the same as this one, so this one would also go in here. At this type, the RJ45 connector, the pins 7 and 8 are bridged, so they're just soldered together to open the interlock connection. Um, the other units have a 9-pin sub-D connector and a pin 1 and 2 are uh, bridged. So this one also goes in here. So why do we have an interlock connector if there's just a bridge on it? Uh, basically, there is one main reason, because it's required. All laser systems, class 3B and 4, are required to have an interlock connector to connect an external shutoff, emergency shutoff button. Like this one here, for example. So if you just hit the button, then the system immediately stops working. This is required to, due to the IEC 6825 regulation, so it's an international regulatory that says that there must be an interlock connector at every laser device class 3B and 4. Um, this regulatory comes, comes as a general regulatory for industrial lasers, lasers for medical applications and all these kinds of lasers, so also for show laser lights. So why do companies deliver bridging plugs for the interlock connector then if it's required to have an emergency shutoff button connected to it? Of course it's required to have an emergency shutoff button at every laser show. So if you operate the laser at a show, you must have an option to, emer to emergency stop the laser emission. So something like this. Um, but there is different options for doing that. If you use the normal interlock connector like here, which is recommended of course, you need to run an additional wire from here to the interlock connector and uh, and then you have the, the shutoff situation. But in many cases, the problem is that the stage is pretty far away and you need to run a pretty long additional cable to have the, uh, the emergency shutoff button connected. So in many countries, basically in most countries, it's also possible to use an emergency shutoff button that just stops the power. So it interrupts the main, it just hit the button and the mains are interrupted. So this is what's mainly done. So people usually just plug in the interlock connector, the bridge, bridge dongle, and then they just put the power to a certain e-stop that is at the front of house and that can be immediately pressed if there anything occurs. For example, somebody tries to climb the truss or there is a problems with, uh, with the laser itself or what can happen or, or people taking other people on their shoulders or something like that. So if there's any case of uh, unexpected behavior or something like that, you can immediately shut off the system even if the computer or the control system is frozen or something like that. So this is just the, the hardwired e-stop, the hardwired interruption.